Okay, now we have our provisional picked up in the mouth and we've cleaned and sterilized it. We are ready to now finish the conversion process. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna now go in and remove these orientation struts and fill in the voids that were left around the temp cylinders here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is using quick up i'm going to go in and fill in these voids around each temp cylinder so we'll cure that into place and then we'll start the process of cutting off the orientation sprues and contouring the provisional so that it is cleansable. Now we're going to go in and remove the sprues. And so for the healing phase, I like to make a little bit of space between each of my temp cylinders so that the patient is going to be able to get in between each of them and clean them appropriately. And so the big contour, the big shape that I'm going for is a convex surface here. I want nothing concave in the middle so that this is going to be very cleansable for the patient and give us the best tissue health that we can get here. We're just going to finish trimming down the temp cylinder so it's not in the way of our contour or occlusion. Okay, the rest of those look really good. And again, so the contour that we're going for is this nice convex rounded surface here. So when the patient flosses, they're going to be able to keep this really clean. So the next thing that, we'll, that I want to do is go in and fill in these voids around here where, we, where the holes were opened up for the temp cylinders. So for that, I like to use um, Bond LC. It allows my flowable composite to bond to this material really well. So we're just going to place some of the Bond LC onto the provisional and then add our flowable tooth shade composite in those areas. Okay, now I'm just going to go in and add composite where we need to. I'm just 
just going around each area and checking to make sure that we have it filled in appropriately before we go back to the mouth. So now we've filled in the majority of these areas. We're ready to finish contouring it and add a little bit of pink on the intaglio surface. And so now you can see we've got it contoured pretty well going into the palette and on the intaglio surface. So that's gonna be very cleansable to the patient and hopefully minimize um, his any issues with speech as much as possible by keeping that contour um, as similar to the palette um, as possible. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of Nexco composite, pink composite to the intaglio surface to give us a nice pink color. So what I've done now is I went in and added some Nexco composite around to make the gingiva pink. And so for that, I've used a couple different shades for that and then went in and recontoured everything so that it's convex on all these surfaces and highly polished and smooth, very smooth on the lingual for the patient. And then we're gonna go deliver it. <laughs> 